Hello everyone and welcome to the Seasons of Fall YouTube Hop. Now this YouTube Hop is hosted by Sherry Wolf. She has been so kind to invite me to join the Hop with these ama amazing talented ladies. Also in the Hop there will be Elaine, Rebecca, Janet, Carol and Christina. Christina is Crafty Paws. I will of course have all of the links to everyone's videos in the description down here so you guys can check out everybody's videos. Now, this today is the 6th of October, so we will have this hop running until the 12th, and everybody will have a little giveaway. I haven't decided yet what my giveaway is going to be, because I'm crazy like that. <laughs> so, I, w I wanted to join this hop um, because I don't typically do fall-themed projects. I'm not sure if you guys know, but I live in the desert, so we don't know what fall looks like. Um, we have like three trees, <laughs> and they don't have leaves. So I wanted to make something using some new stamp so actually some stamp sets, some new ones, some old ones that I haven't used ever, which is sad, I know. But I really wanted to use them, so I used, and I'll show you guys my project, I used, and I also have a full process video right after my little introduction here, so you guys check it out. This is from Paper Tray Ink, and look at all my stain stamps. This this is the Forest Floor Autumn, and I use the mushrooms, because I love mushrooms, by the way, the leaves and the little acorns. This is from Stampin' Up. This is the hardwood stamp. I'm not sure if this is still available. Um, I don't even remember where I got this and uh, or who I got this from, but um, I use this for the background. For the sentiment, I it's stuck. I used this thank you die from Pretty Pink Posh, and this is a thank you script. I had extra ones that I just stuffed in there. I also used my Stampin' Up! inks. As you can see right here is a little sampling of some of the items that are in my card set. I made a card set. I wanted this because during the fall, I mean, I think about Thanksgiving and being thankful and grateful and just remembering the little things that we have in our lives that make it worthwhile. So these leaves, I used these four ink pads and I have a quick um, sped up video that I'm going to do with the voiceover. This is a voiceover. This is Daffodil Delight, Pumpkin Pie, Cherry Cobbler, and Writing Hood Red. These are the older inks. Now, those were used for the leaves and for the mushrooms I use the Riding Hood Red, Cherry Cobbler, Sahara Sand, and Soft Suede. Now the Sahara Sand is this one but I went ahead and stamped it off once and you guys will see how I did it. it to make the lighter one and then just did the little edges. This is how I did also the edges of the leaves where I just did one color then I came back with the orange and the first I did the Daffa did the light, then I came back with the pumpkin pie and the cherry cobbler on the edges to give that look. For the acorns, I use the Sahara Sand and Soft Suede ink. Like I said, these are the the old ink pads. But I was able to give them all like little shading by just tapping the edge of the stamp with the ink pad. Now, let me move this stuff out of the way. And of course, I will try to take some pictures to have this over here. Now, my project is pretty simple, but I wanted to think of what I wanted to make a gift and show you how you can make a process gift and it be a gift card set. I haven't done a gift card set in, in a long while, so I really wanted to do this. Now, just like when the, and I also made the full gift card box and I'll show you my crazy way that I figured out how to make it um, because I'm horrible at dimensions. Now, just like most cards, uh, card boxes, it has like a sample on the top. This is basically what it was. Now, this one is my boo-boo card. This one was actually my my first card that I made where I used um, Nouveau Drops, but the Nouveau Drops pick up the ink color, so I didn't use it, but I like how it looks over here a little bit more distressed. So this is the box, and I made it very snug because I wasn't paying attention how I, I was gluing it. I glued this too close, but it's easy peasy. And here are my... It will come with the envelopes, and this will be a gift. This, and here are the cards. Now, the cards are basically all the same. I wanted them to look the same, but I wanted them to have that fall, autumn feel that we don't have here in the desert. <laughs> but this is what I think of when I think of autumn. It's when the fall comes, you know, everybody brings out these beautiful signs. So I use this, the 
hardwood backing on the back of this to look like a sign kind of or a sign with like some little green um mushrooms and some leaves falling over it that's why i used the white oh and all of this cardstock is from paper tray ink this is the paperback or the craft color and just the ba the basic white cardstock and i also stamped all of my images on the white cardstock which is of course, why? what would be a video with, what would be one of my videos without me being prepared? I use, this one is the, the craft and the white cardstock. I think it's like Stamper Select or something like that. So, this is, these are the cards. And like I said, I wanted it to be a gift that you can use this for Thanksgiving maybe. If you wanted to just give somebody a gift, you know, or show them that you're thankful. And also, this is a gift that keeps giving because... You're giving the gift to somebody, which is basically the box here, and they can reuse the box. You know, this is pretty um, heavyweight cardstock. This is, uh, I think it's like 110. So they can reuse the card, and they can give out the cards to anyone. And look, super dimensional, as per usual. I was going to make a shaker card, but I'm like, maybe I need to give people a break for my shaker cards. <laughs> so, but that is what I made, you guys. I, I super, okay, this took me an entire day to figure out because I want it to be something special, something neat. I wanted to interpret fall in my own way um, and like I said totally my own way because I love the signs I love everything it's just I live in the desert somebody come save me take me to a beautiful place that has seasons and I all and I made extra of these so I can make other cards and whatnot I wasn't sure how many I was going to put per card but I go ahead and stick around and I you I will have a voiceover with a little sped up I know I've gotten feedback that some of the sped up videos like you can't see but I, i'll try to not make it so long that's what i'm trying to kind of get this um get this going so go ahead and head on over to the next stop one of these amazing ladies i will have all of the links in the description i appreciate it to sherry wolf thank you so 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 much this really, really pushed me to um, go out of my comfort zone and look at something different and make something different. So I totally appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Thank you to all of the amazing ladies. Make sure that you comment on everybody's video and are following everybody for the giveaways. These ladies have amazing giveaways. I know I will have one and I'm totally drawing a bank. I don't know if I should do or in your comments. Um, leave me a comment. What do you guys think I should do? Should I do like a PayPal gift card or... A uh, gift card to my site, to my site, almondercraftkit.com. So please go ahead, check it out. I do will have the link in on the description. Um, I'm not sure. So what do you guys think? Little audience participation kind of situation. So thank you guys for stopping by. Stay on for the little tutorial so you can see how I put these together from start to finish. Thank you guys and thank you to all of the amazing ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sherry, for inviting me, for being so kind to me. Um, she has craft pay repeat. You guys, she is super 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 talented and i'm totally grateful so thank you very much so stick around you guys thank you for sticking around for the little process video so here i am just stamping the leaves in daffodil delight then pumpkin pie around the edges and then i tried writing hood red but i realized that cherry cobbler was the better deal around the border and all i'm doing is just basically touching the ink pad around the edges you can see right there on the red for it to overlap the same step in the same location. It's super easy to do a bunch of these and I can also die cut these at the same time. The actual little veins in the stem was made with soft suede which made it all easy because I had all of the colors for all of the different stems. Now the funny thing is I realized after the fact that I didn't record the mushrooms, me stamping the mushrooms, but it's basically the same process as well with the reds. There's two different tones of red. It's the Riding Hood Red and the Cherry Cobbler. Now I am making the background for the cards right now using the Stampin' Up Hardwood stamp, which is easy to do a whole card base. And all I did was take the craft card stock from Paper Tray Ink and just uh, cut it in the middle. So this is a five and a half by eight and a half sheet and it fits perfectly in my large, in the Misty. This is the regular size Misty. So I'm able to stamp one side and then stamp the other side, just, just flipping it over and I mean turning it around and using the magnets. Now, I did stamp it several times. I stamped each base several times because I wanted the wood look to be darker. I absolutely wanted it to have more effect. And here I am. Now, the reason why I'm layering these mushrooms is because I wanted to see how they would look. I used two different inks, two different brown inks. I used the... 
another ink I used, I totally can't remember now, because I ended up using the Stampin' Up! Soft Suede. I went ahead and trimmed the panels down, the front panels down are 4 by 5 They're 4 by 5 because I wanted a smaller different size than a regular A2 size card. These are the fronts. The actual card bases, though, are A2 size. They're 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. I'm sorry, four and a quarter by five and a quarter. Here I am making the card bases out of white paper tray ink cardstock. And of course, I'm just making sure that the panel fits in a frame. I wanted it to look like almost like the signs at the fall signs that have like either the white frame or like the dark frame. Super, super cute. I originally wanted to do a white, um, a white painted panel, but it just wasn't, it, I don't know. It didn't look too good because the die cuts have the white frame around. Anyway, so here I am. I am cutting it in several different positions for the cardstock to either be a side folding or a top folding card. So there's a different variation since this, this is going to be a gift set, depending on how you feel, you know, whether you want to do a side fold card or a top fold. And here you can see, I this is the white panel. That was the white panel that I used to originally try it. This is my sample one. This is the first one that I made, so I'm basically modeling the rest of them after this. Now, I'm also using the Unicorn Hero Arts ink, and now this is a pigment ink, so it has more of a thicker tendency, I mean thicker base, so I only use it to kind of whitewash the maybe grayish down because I don't know if you've seen Reclaimed Barnwood or Barnwood, it has like a faded kind of ashy look. So I want it to give it this kind of a more realistic to wood look, more of a ashy, distressed, vintage, uh, rustic wood look to give it to the end. I really, really liked it. I just went ahead and just swiped it with a distressing tool. And this is just a heat... Um, a heat tool just to get it dry because it is pigment ink so it does take longer and it can be a little bit tacky and this stuff can get everywhere and if everything's already stamped out and then you get white over everywhere not a good look so i just wanted to make sure i dried all of them and just heat set them so i don't have to worry about that staining any of my stamps or any of my cards i'm not sure if you guys are aware i love vintage food trays vintage like cafeteria trays and i use them in this manner to separate the items that I need so I can assembly style make my cards. These are all assembly style made. Just like if I'm making several cards, I like to do it this way. Make the panels, make the faces, make all of the embellishments. Then I get to sit down and have fun and assemble the whole thing because let's be honest, it's like Legos. Like you have Legos, but the fun part is when you're assembling something with them. So here are my card fronts, which I'm just using some ATG glue and adding them to the base. And see the white almost makes it look like a vintage or a vintage rustic sign. I'm using the glue that I've been wanting to use, the Art Glitter Glue. This is the first time I'm full on using it on a project, so I just wanted to try it out. And the tips of these glue bottles, they're actually interchangeable from, they're from Amazon. They're Scrap Perfect glue, um, Scrap Perfect clear no clog writing tips or whatever they fit literally right out you don't have to pour the glue or anything this just fits right on the bottle this is the large size anyway let me get back to the card so the first mushroom is layered a little bit higher now this is the same mushroom but i wanted to give it a different look like there's two different size mushrooms so it's not the same one so the first one is set back and it's glued directly to the card then the leaf in front of it is popped up on dimensional foam and then the mushroom on the left is a little bit lower but it's more to the ground and that one is just also layered on mounting foam. The thank you from Pretty Pink Posh is I didn't want it to have so much dimension. I wanted it to look like the sign. Like it was part of a sign and this, you know, this is just like a really cute painted fall sign for fall decor. Like I said, I live in the desert. So I went ahead and added one of the other leaves to the top and a little acorn along with a little acorn at the bottom. The acorn I did the same way with the multiple colors of the ink pads with the Sahara Sand from Sampin' Up and Soft Suede, Suede, excuse me, as well. So, and then I did the Soft Suede at the bottom just to give it a little bit of shading, just like the leaves. I did all of the stamps like that, the mushrooms, uh, the mushroom tops. 
And here again, I'm just making another one so you can see I'm layering all of these, giving it dimension, but also setting the taller mushroom in the back to give it more of a farther back look. But I really wanted to mimic the look of a vintage harvest time sign, like a rustic -y sign, and I'm just totally loving the way it came out. In itty bitty little tiny pieces of mounting form from the little for the little acorns, and then the and this is look you can see how well this glue cap works. I absolutely love them. Like I I have this on my Scotch glue as well. And like I said, I just, since these words, these thank you words are so fine, I didn't want to make multiple layers because that just would have been a lot of work. I actually did that on the first one. But I decided to keep it flat like a regular sign. But each one of them does have the mushrooms, the leaves, the little acorns just to fill them in. But you could add so many more. Now, I decided to put these in a box. Now, I already made the box, the base, and this is how I figure out my crazy measurements. So the base, I cut it to eight and a quarter by nine and a half, the base of the box. The top, the lid that I'm making now is an eighth, the one sixteenth of an inch bigger because I want it to be a little bit bigger so it fits over the box, the box base that I already made. And it's just one eighth of an inch, I'm sorry, uh, one sixteenth of an inch bigger. And I am, since it will fit all of these envelopes and the cards, it is all scored at one and three fourths inches all the way around. And I'm cutting out the little tabs and a little slip just for it to be able to close a little bit easier. I'm doing this on all four sides so I can create this box. And like I said, this is the box top. The, um, the base was already made and this one was just made one sixteenth of an inch bigger on both ends so it would accommodate the the box and here i am placing it upside down and look see it fits perfectly now i just have to glue the sides and those little notches that i cut out make it easy to to glue the sides and make sure that the the lid is even like i said it's eight and a quarter by nine and a half I usually just take the measurements of the card plus add either an inch or two depending on how thick I need the box for it to fit the product that I made. But this is how it turns out and I absolutely love it. I also feel that it was a little bit harder to getting it off because it was so snug and I just went ahead and wanted to punch half circle punches uh, for, a, for you to be able to pull your finger, I mean put your finger there and be able to open the lid easier. It'll just gives it an easier look. So here is the first card that I made. I just decided to go ahead and unmake it a card and make it the front of the box because I already had it. I thought it was super cute and it fit perfectly in there. So just a little bit more ATG gun tape on there and pow, it is set up. And that is my project, you guys. Hopefully this wasn't too fast. Hopefully you're able to enjoy it and maybe learn a little something and take it away. But please make sure that you check all of the awesome ladies on the Season of Fall YouTube Hop. Seasons of Fall YouTube Hop. And make sure you comment and follow all of the amazing, talented people, ladies here on the Hop. Thank you and bye, everyone.